Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create this scale design. I'll be using plate HEHE005, -E -E which comes from ladyqueen.com. If you're interested, there are links available in the description box. Here are the tools and accessories I will be using. Cotton claw with cotton, sponge, brush, toothpick, q-tips, scraper, stamper, and a lint roller. I placed a paper towel on my workspace for easy cleanup. I'm starting with a base coat. Now I'm going to show you how I'll be cleaning my brush throughout the video. I dip the brush in water and swirl the brush on a paper towel and repeat until the brush is clean. Now I dip the brush in water again and this time I lightly dry the sides keeping some moisture in the brush. The moisture helps dilute the acrylic paint a bit, making it easier to glide on the nail. Now I apply a small amount of white acrylic paint. I apply two to three coats to obtain a solid color. The great thing about acrylic paint is that it dries quickly. On the sponge I will apply these three colors. Here you can see I use different colors on my right hand. So have fun using your favorite colors. I'll be starting with a light green color. On the first application I apply a little more acrylic paint because the sponge quickly absorbs it. I also clean my brush in between each color. Now I continue with a light blue. You'll notice I slightly overlap the colors. And now I finish with a dark blue. Now I'm lining up the sponge with a nail and I press the sponge in a rolling motion. I'm going to repeat the same process for the rest of my nails. Now I'm going to apply a coat of glitter polish. You can apply the glitter polish before or after filling in the stamper. I just want to make sure the glitter polish is lightly sticky before stamping the image on the nail. If I was going to take a while to fill in the stamper, then I would apply the glitter polish after I finish filling in the stamper. In the meantime it's drying, I'm going to stamp. I placed an additional paper towel folded in half underneath the plate to clean my scraper. For stamping, I apply a line of black polish across the edge of the image and with a scraper, I scrape off the excess and roll the stamper on the image. Now that I have the image on the stamper, I'm going to fill in some of the scales. If you want to skip this step, it's no problem. In this picture, I didn't fill in the scales. Either way, I love the results. I'm going to be filling in the upper half with light blue and dark blue and the lower half with light green and light blue. I'm going to be leaving some of the scales empty so the background colors can show through.
Now I carefully roll the stamper on my nail. Here I clean the stamper on the lint roller. And here I clean my plate. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for the rest of my nails. Here I'm applying the glitter polish after filling in the stamper. I touch my nail, it's almost dry but not completely. I make sure it's slightly sticky before stamping. Now I carefully roll the stamper on my nail. Here I apply a top coat. Now I clean up around my nails. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Until next time.